got the bottom complete. Um, I had music going in the background, so I had to edit that part out. But uh, I was patting it down as I was putting it in. You can see it looked kind of sort of dry while I was putting it in, but there's actually a lot of water in there. And so as you sit there and ram it down or pat it down, it'll help kind of make some of these air bubbles come out. Um, I don't have a machine to vibrate it or anything like that, so I'm just sitting there patting it by hand, getting some work in some of the air bubbles out and getting it all in place. So that part is done. So I've used up five of those containers, 12.5 pounds each of fractal mix. And as you can see, I'm not finished. I'm going to estimate maybe two, three pails to finish the top, um, at least one for the lid. So I'm going to go see if I can find four more pails and I'll probably get a fifth just for backup and extra material. All right, so the furnace body is all cast. Unfortunately, I got called in to work in the middle of the project, so I didn't get to finish it as quick as I'd like because I could have removed this sooner. So it's kind of uh, stuck in there. So I'm gonna let it set up a little bit more and then cut it out or burn it out if needed. Now to uh, start the cure process. So plugged up the hole down there. I'm gonna put a bag over it. And then just start monitoring it and uh, trying to keep the surface wet uh, as per the instructions. Um, I did not have enough refractory mix to cast the lid. Um, so I will have to do that at a later date. Went ahead and cut the form out now instead of before letting it dry. Um, went in there and shaped the I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera or not, but I shaped the opening where the burner tube is coming in. So it should roll right along the side. Um, there was a couple little air pockets I went ahead and patched in a little bit, smoothed it out. Um, I didn't smooth it too much because it still needs to be able to evaporate through. And then I went ahead and uh, put a little bit of water on it with a spray bottle, just a tiny bit to keep the surface wet. So now I'm going to put a bag over it, let it start curing. <laughs> 